Madam Chair, Senators, great to be with you. Um, I'm Kevin Lilly, Chairman of the TABC, and I'm here with uh, General Bentley Nettles, our Executive Director. Uh, I know it's been, a, it's been a long process, it's been a challenging year, and I just want to thank all of you for serving this great state and giving me the opportunity to be in this position. Um, it's, been a, it's been a tough year for our industry, as you all know. And I know it affects most of you, as most of you have constituents in the restaurant bar industry, as, those, as well as those that have been affected by the tragedy of human trafficking. So thank you for this time to be before you. Um, and I'm also sensitive that it's a difficult time for the state. And I doubt if anybody has come up here and asked for less money. So um, <laughs> I think that I'm, and I'm no exception. Uh, after the uh, last sunset review, um, TABC needed a massive transformation. Uh, as most of you know, uh, over the years, our agency had operated on what I would call, from a business perspective, an antiquated system, low on technology, slow to produce the things that we needed as far as uh, producing uh, new licenses. Um, and you have a growing and robust industry and an agency that is tasked with protecting it and enhancing it, right? Um, so the challenges that the Sunset Commission gave us, which uh, and the, the exceptional items that we were very pleased to get, enhanced our ability in law enforcement and also increased our, our IT. For those of you in business, you know that technology is so critical uh, in doing what we do best and in serving the great state. Um, we've made significant strides in disrupting and dismantling the organized criminals and cartel members that are uh, active in promoting the heinous crime of human trafficking. Um, we have, to date, rescued over 200 victims of exploitation. We've shut down 25 licensed establishments, which I know initially you go, gosh, 200 doesn't sound like a lot, but to those 200, it was a lot. Um, and we are continuing in our effort to do so. As you know, the, um, the Sunset Commission made human trafficking our primary law enforcement mission. And so I believe I'm correct in saying that of all the law enforcement agencies in the state of Texas, we are the only one in which that is our primary mission. Because obviously, bars and restaurants are a nexus. Uh, Madam Chair, we had a, a very productive session uh, last two years ago where we talked about it. Uh, and so dismantling these organizations through the unique capabilities that TABC has is so, so critical in our mission. Um, on the more mundane, we've developed the alcoholic industry management system. So the, the, the end state is for a bar or restaurant owner to be able to walk in and effectively do everything online. Um, and so uh, because as you, you, as you know, if you've been in the business, the front end load of capital expenditures in building a restaurant or a bar are enormous, and these are not typically wealthy people. And so the amount of money they have to spend up front has to be collected quickly. And the longer it takes for TABC to, to generate an approval, that's less money coming in. And days matter. Going from 36 days to 50 days could be really literally the, dis the difference between whether these organizations and restaurants can survive. Um, we also, through this technology, allows us to get and generate revenue for the state through tax collections uh, and surcharges. So it's been tremendous for us to do, and yet there is so much more that we need to do.